Hello everyone. Welcome to the fourth video of the series. So till today we are done with thermometers, uh, length measuring instruments, weighing scales, and have you guessed what are we going to learn today? Yes, we are going to learn about clocks. So the clock that you see here, or the clocks that you see these days, are are very simple, or you see that they are very straightforward. But the science involved to make these clocks is not that simple and is a very long process. It took about thousand years to develop this science and apply it to make these small devices. So the basic process of timekeeping started from around uh, 3500 BC. Yes, that back when Egyptians just used a stick in the ground and when the sun passed over they could track the shadow on the ground and then they could tell time accordingly. But this method was not too reliable. Why? To answer this question you can do one household observation. So what you want to do is you look at the sunrise or the sunset anyone can do from your house window or the balcony and just mark a building or a tree near it to remember. And observe the sunrise or sunset daily. The position of it daily. See if the sun rises in the same position throughout the year. Interesting scientific fact. It does not. The sun does not rise from the same place throughout the year. And hence it was a problem to track the shadow as it changed along the year and hence timekeeping was difficult with this method. So to overcome this problem came the sundials. So now do you think the sundials could um, solve this problem as this device also used shadow to keep time. But yes, this device has a line on it which points to the north-south direction. The genome, the triangle that you see here, we are supposed to keep that facing the north. To us, the northern pole, that is, it is the clo closest pole as we live in India, the northern hemisphere. So, as the earth moves or rotates around its axis and the sun moves in an arc, for us it looks like the sun moves in an arc around this axis. So as long as the genome is pointing in that direction, the sun will cast the same shadow in the same place throughout the year. So in this system, the length of the hour actually varied from season to season. As the length of the hour was calculated was the time duration of just the time from sunrise to sunset divided by 12. So, this time is more in summers than in winters, but the people were okay with it. So, now imagine if your mom tells you that you are going to just play for half an hour. So, that time duration of half an hour is more, you get to play more in summers than in winters. Interesting, right? So, this is a very small sundial. Uh, it is also very easy to make at home by the way. You can just uh, google it or see on YouTube and try it at home. But huge sundials, uh, also called as the Samrat Yantra, are located in Jaipur as well as in Delhi in Jantar Bandar. You must be familiar with it. So these sundials were useful to tell time for very long period of time. But it also had some obvious drawbacks. As to find the time from shadows, you need sun, right? So it cannot be used at night time or uh, nor it can be used in the cloudy weathers. So after the sun dials came the mechanical clocks. So from this time, we started thinking of standardizing time duration for what we call it a one hour or one minute. So mechanical clocks were basically based on the uh, idea of a repetitive process and which was very consistent to measure time in a repetitive process duration like the sand clock or the water clock. 
So in the water, water cloth, the water keeps on dripping in a consistent manner and the water that is in the pan is measured or there are marks uh, or graduated marks on the pan and the volume collected in the pan showed how much time it has passed and this was also called as the Nalika Yantra. Around 1600, Galileo was studying pendulums and about 50 years after that, Huygens used this pendulum principle to build clocks. So he used pendulum to drive the clock mechanism. This pendulum clock was prevailed for a long period of time. But again, it was a problem for some people like sailors as the pendulum could not work on ships. In the same time period, a lot of more different types of clocks like uh, the, this candle clock as the candle goes uh, on burning, the length of the candle is measured and the uh, uh, knots clock like this, rope knots clock or the incense clock like this were developed in different parts of the world. But now how did we come up with these type of clocks? It is a beautiful journey and I am going to take you through all this journey in the next video. So if you have liked this video, please like, share and subscribe. Let's come up with the new generation clocks in the next video. Bye!